Okay, today we're gonna talk about how to make your stream look prettier, how to add some really cool tech on the cheap, and most importantly, how to offer more engagement to your viewers. So stick around. Okay, so how are we gonna pull this off? Well, we're gonna talk about lights, we're gonna talk about software for lights, we're gonna talk about kinds of lights, we're gonna talk about pricing of lights, we're gonna talk about lights. Lots of lights. These lights, actually, over here, okay? The ones that are behind me. First off, let me just say, my name is Josh. I run Fat Guy Fun Time. I have a uh, Twitch stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at uh, 9 p.m. Eastern. And I'd love if you come by. There's a thing that probably popped up here and uh, hang out with us. Or if you'd like to get on some games or just hang out with some of the great community that we have over there, uh, feel free to join the Discord. So, why are lights important? Lights can add character to your stream. Okay, so most importantly, I'm not gonna see a dirty bedroom behind you or your kitchen or something that's not appealing. I'm gonna see something that pops, okay? Something that's appealing. But more specifically, and what we're gonna talk about right now is they can be engaging for your chat. We're gonna use smart lights and we're gonna use Lumia Stream to accomplish this. And here's how we're gonna do it. Go to lumiastream.com. Link is in the description. This is my account that I'm logged into. So the first thing you're going to notice is the, the integrations that they have available. Uh, just so you know, I'm using Hue Lights, but there's Nano Leaf, there's LifeFX, there's all the big players there. On top of that, they work with almost every major platform, and they also work with Streamlabs, and they work with Stream Elements as well, which is super important. They also have a detailed list of features, but basically means smart light control in your stream. To note, there is a free version of this program that is very powerful and works very well. I decided to go with the premium version of this program because for $3.99 a month, you get a ton of powerful options, one of which is unlimited color choice. It is also available for Windows and Mac. Lumia Stream also included an online tutorial called School, which is amazing. It basically is an emulator of the program, which outlines how to use all the basic functions and features in a very easy and comprehensive way. Lumia Stream also included a video section, which will show you other streamers who are currently using their system. It's a great way to gain ideas and see the actual program in action. To date, I am not on this page and I am very upset by this fact. Keep in mind when picking out compatible lights, ease of setup should be considered here. I use Hue lights, and although they were the most expensive on Amazon when I was shopping around, they had almost no problems during the setup process with Lumia Stream. Now I expect the same to be true with LifeX, and they were slightly less expensive, but I have no experience with Yi light. However, they were the least expensive at about $25 uh, per bulb. One other thing to consider is when shopping for these lights, they don't have to be bulbs. You can also use compatible strips as well. Okay, so here's my entire setup. So one of the things you'll notice is it's not just lights. There's a pretty thing here with all my boxes, my Chewbacca mask, my computer setup. Uh, don't forget my sword, of course. This is the full tang sword. What's that doing here? Uh, and, and then there's a, uh, a Harry Potter wand. Just just some stuff that I collectively like, okay? So one of the things I did is these are, these are the lights here that most people interact with. Um, and what I did was I, I bought fixtures that looked really cool. I think I got these in Walmart for like 15 bucks or so. Uh, I suggest you get something that's other than just the bulb. But I thought they were they were cool and cheap. And I, got, and I have three of them. And then on the side here, if you take a look, these are actually Hue Light strips that I have mounted to this little C-rail thing. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link in the description to the guy who made plans for these, but they're basically trying to mimic a uh, hue, uh, I think they're called singe lights. Um, th this is just a cheap, you know, way of doing it. And I have two of those. So the chat can actually control those as well, which is kind of neat because you can have one side of your room blue, one side of your room pink, and it's like that yin yang kind of feel. Uh, but I, I love it. I think it looks amazing. And behind here, uh, you'll see I have like these little disco balls. Again, I'll throw a link in the description, but they're cheap. They're like 20 bucks I got on Amazon and they just add some flair to the back of the room other than just like stagnant light, right? So there's stuff moving around. People can see that it's a moving live background. And that's my whole setup. Okay, you got your lights in the mail, you downloaded the software, everything's set up. 
Now I'm gonna show you a couple of tips and tricks with this software because it's not the most intuitive thing I've ever used. So here we go. Okay, so once the program's downloaded, it stays on in the background down in your taskbar. You turn it on, you'll see this pop up. There's a big switch on top that lets you turn it on and off manually if you want to. And towards the bottom here, uh, it shows all the connections is active when it's blue. And if it's not connecting with something, it shows as red. Okay, so we go into the settings and you have your main tabs on the left-hand side and all the options for each tab on the right-hand side. Pretty straightforward. Okay, so quick tip number one here. If you go into lights and then your default settings, uh, go down a couple options. It says always revert back to default lights. Turn that off. That is super annoying. You want stuff that you change to stay changed until it changes again. If you leave this on, it'll go ahead and keep reverting back to whatever color is the default. This is the second thing you need to know how to use. This is your studio. This lets you set up your light scenes what colors are being used and which lights are actually using them. Um, there's a ton of variety here, so be creative. You'll notice that I have some set up with multiple lights, like this one here is called USA, um, and I have another one called Traffic. If you utilize those in chat, um, it'll change all three of the lights. But you'll also notice that I have multiple scenes set up for one light, which means that users can actually pick the light that they wanna change, and it stays that way until it's changed again. This gives the user a ton of control over my stream, and I think it makes it really engaging. Quick tip number two, make a whole bunch of colors. People are gonna test this, okay? So magenta and aqua and pink. One of my favorites is black. Uh, that'll actually turn my lights off in my stream. Uh, this might sound obvious, but the more control the viewer has over this and the better it works, the better experience they'll have. Set up a lot of these. Okay, so these are your reactions. These are the animations that can happen uh, in your stream, uh, like flashing or strobe effect. There's a bunch of these, so you're gonna wanna play around with them, but they actually added a test button. So once you have it set up, click the button, you'll actually see the lights move real time, which is very cool. Okay, so next is your chat tab. The chat tab is actually giving the chat the control of the lights and the scenes that you just set up. So if you go ahead and click on one of the edit tabs, you'll notice that you can assign a command and that command is linked to one of the scenes that you just set up. Save that command and that's all there is to it. And now repeat that same process, but under the reactions tab. Okay, so quick tip number three, there is a tiers tab. User one is the highest tiered user. I would suggest giving everyone access to this. The reason being is so everyone can enjoy the lights that you set up and they, they can learn how to use it. And lastly, there is the alerts tab, which will let you set up different reactions for followers and bits and hosts and raids, etc. on Twitch, Stream Elements, Streamlabs, all the major ones. So make sure you set that up because there's nothing more fun than the lights going crazy when somebody does something awesome. There is also a colors tab in the chat section. Make sure to set this up as well with a ton of colors. This gives your chat the ability to change all of the lights in your setup. Oh, and make sure that the listen to color options is turned on. And lastly, there is integration for the Stream Deck. It's kind of limited right now, but I'm really excited about it because it means down the road there might be more stuff to come. Okay, we did it. That's everything. And I know this is an overview, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave some really important links down in the description with more details. If you have any specific questions, please ask them in the comments. I will get back to you, I promise. Hit the subs If you like the video, hit the subscribe and the bell button for me. It really helps out the channel. And if you wanna get some games in with me, join Discord, head on over, and uh, we'll get some video games in. I hope this video helped you out. If you liked it, leave more comments and uh, have fun. I'm gonna go play some video games, okay? Peace.